Hey everybody, uh, this is Dave from Where Games. Uh, we had a request from someone to show you how to download mods for Banished, which is a great question. We just, I guess, assume that everybody knows what they're doing all the time, and sometimes we forget to uh, do the most basic steps. So uh, I'm going to try to walk you through how to load a mod to Banish. It's pretty easy. You shouldn't have too much trouble with it. Um, I'm not so awesome at flipping between different applications and windows and stuff during a video, so that's the thing I'm not so awesome at, and we'll hopefully we'll get through it together. So uh, the site that I use to get my mods is uh, banishedinfo.com slash mods uh, and I will leave a link for that in the comments so that you can find it uh, maybe right in the video here if I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> so you can see here there's a bunch of different lists so if we go to say the all time sort them by all time favorites you can see a bunch of different mods here so uh, I do have some of these downloaded already and some of them I don't so, uh, for instance, if I was going to download one, um, I'm just going to grab this one called Flatten Terrain Tool here. It was right on the main screen. So if I click on that, it'll take me to a window here that says Flatten Terrain Tool. It's got the file name here, flatten.pkm. It's by someone named Gimme Cat. And if we click Download Mod, it'll just download it and we can save the file. And it's going to save it to wherever your software downloads to. So you can see here on mine, I've got this file called flatten pkm, and I'm just going to do the old uh, right click and copy and save it. Hopefully that's all I've done here. What have I done? There we go, copy. So, um, and then you need to save it into uh, the place where your banished game is uh, stored. So in my case, it's on, I have a C drive, program files, uh, x86, and I bought mine through Steam, so it's in the Steam folder. And then under that, under Steam, there'll be a folder called Steam Apps. Uh, and inside of that, there's one called Common. And then all your games will be listed there. So in this case, it's Banished. And then when we get to Banished, we go into the Win Data. So if you're in the Banished folder, you'll see Win Data. And then you go in there. You can see there's some of the other mods that I've loaded already. So I'm just going to paste that one in. And you can see they're all .pkm. So the important thing is to figure out where your Banished game is stored and then go to the Win Data. Uh, folder. Uh, if you're not sure where your game is stored, you could uh, right click on your icon and go to your properties and that should probably show you where the game is being stored to. Uh, my shortcut of course just goes to my desktop. So, um, so once you've got that step done, uh, just pop open Banished. I've got my Banished open here and we're going to go to the mods setting. And you can see here, oh, of course it's not here because it's uh, I had this open before. So I'm going to close this and then we're going to restart it. Yay. Okay, so here we go. We are launching Banished and here we go. So we're going to go into our mods folder and you can see that we have a bunch of different mods and I've got the one here. The rest of them are kind of green colored because I have enabled them. So uh, once again, from your main menu, you go to Mods, and then you look for the one that you've loaded. Um, right now, they're they're sorted. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how they're sorted, but maybe some kind of strange file system. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so here's the Flatten Terrain tool. This is the one that we just loaded, and it says here, Use with caution. Drag over an area to flatten the terrain. If resources exist in an area, workers will clear the space first. So to make the mod actually work, we're going to have to enable it. So there's a little X here that's grayed out. We click that, it's now enabled. We say OK, and it's going to say changes to the loaded mod require the menu to be reloaded. Do you want to apply changes and reload now? I'm going to say yes. So now our mod should be up and loaded. If you go back to that window, you can see it's now green. It's been enabled, so it's working. Uh, and the other thing to remember is once you've loaded a mod, I believe in most cases you have to start a new game. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about that. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, if you try to take an old save game and try to run a new mod with it, you may get some weirdness. So just to show you how that worked, we're going to do, uh, let's do this one uh, nice, easy. Townsville is the name of the town it wants to give us. And we'll see if we can figure out how this mod works. Of course, there's not a lot of directions or instructions. I'm sure if we went back to that mod page, there'd be a little bit more info as to how we do it. But... We'll see if we can figure it out on our own. Isn't this exciting? We're changing the game. Hooray! Modding is such fun. Okay, so we've got our game, and it's up and running. 
and I would expect, there we go, so this one in fact is under the removal and destruction tools, which is the last icon except for the options. Uh, and there's the new icon for it, and it's called Flatten Terrain. Flattens hills and water, creating a valid terrain for building. Use Remove Building to delete footprint. Oh, so it must create a footprint or something. So we're going to tell it to flatten this side of this hill. Oh, look at that. Isn't that exciting? So let's uh, go over to our workers and have them let's prioritize them to clean that stuff up. Let's do that, guys. And let's kick them off and set them off to running. And so... Oh, you know what? It's already done. We don't need to make anybody do that. And then it said... <laughs> okay. And then it says remove structure to get rid of... There you go. So you can see that we actually flatten that. So that one's flat. Now we could actually use that to build on if we wanted to. I'm not sure what the limitations of that tool are. Whether we can get rid of this whole thing. Uh, it doesn't look like it did. So maybe it's just, it's not for mountains per se, but maybe just hills, that kind of thing. That's okay. Uh, we'll actually do a review of the mod in a separate video. This one was just to show you how that load a mod. So there's lots of cool mods at the, at the website that I told you about at the beginning, and I will make a link to that. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully that uh, taught you something or helped out. If it did, please leave a comment or a like or a subscribe or that kind of thing. Just a little feedback to let us know how we're doing. Really appreciate you guys uh, watching the video, and uh, keep playing Banished, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.